72 glorious years, standing tall and luminous amidst years of vibrance, cultural efflorescence, and most importantly, evolving educational standards, Providence Women's College continues to excel, prioritizing the goal of women's empowerment in all realms of activities through meaningful education. Guided by the noble initiative of uplifting women in the Malabar region, the institution has progressed enthusiastically towards enriching itself with equally valuable endeavors within the society at large. Upholding a rich legacy and relentlessly pursuing the vision of contributing towards the holistic development of the individual through the dissemination of knowledge, this citadel of learning has been nurturing productive growth and creativity, harnessing information and communication, building knowledge societies and bridging divides. It has thus laid the basis for widening the resources needed for ushering in a new era of equitable and quality lifelong learning through a plethora of programs and services that would inculcate the true values of enablement, justice, peace and tolerance. Let us begin this beautiful evening with a soulful rendering by the college choir, symbolizing 72 years of brilliance in higher education and exemplary service to the society. We have 72 singers reciting Wake Me Up by Avicii, a prayerful melody that assures being there for one another during hard times, bridging the boundaries of caste, creed and gender and thus nurturing the bonds of love that transcends everything. I welcome Dr. Priya Darshini, Head of the Department of History and Coordinator of the Cultural Event of this evening to welcome the gathering. Good evening to all. A very, very hearty welcome to each one of you present here. Your presence today in our college means an absolute honor to everybody, to each one of us in Providence Women's College. As all of you know, we are facing the fourth cycle of accreditation and we have with us the respected members of the NAC peer team. So uh, we have with us, first of all, uh, uh, respected chairperson R. M. Mishra sir. APS University, Reva Madhya Pradesh. He's a luminary in the 
subject of environmental biology. And we also have with us uh, Professor Kamlakshi Thadasid, who is in fact another very distinguished professor of uh, political science from the, uh, from, the from the University, Rani Chandama University, Belgovi, Karnataka. We also have another member, member that is um, uh, Professor Minakshi Vaikoli, who is from the TESS Piyonahata College, Jalagon Buzawal, Maharashtra. And Mama is again a very eminent economist who has authored books on sustainable economy and also green economics. So Adarinia Mishra Ji, Professor Mishra Ji, Professor Kamlakshi Ji, Professor Minakshi Ji, Providence Women's College ke principal management staff or students say, Kitarav say, Hab Sabko Hardik Swagad or Satme Pranam. A hearty namaste. A hearty namaste to all of you from each one of us. We are indeed blessed by the presence of a lot of sisters and fathers representing our congregation. We have the presence of our beloved former principal, Dr. Sister Ansila, Sister Kamila, and also Sister Nita. Dear sisters and fathers, we are indeed blessed by your pres divine presence, I should say, on this day occasion. Thank you for your support and we welcome you on this August occasion. We have with us the Providence Association of Retired Teachers, the PAD, who have been torch bearers for 72 years in this college. Let me, on behalf of the entire college, welcome each one of us, uh, to the, each one of you to this occasion. I can tell you that uh, the way you guided us, the fact that we rest on the shoulder, your strong shoulders like yours, in fact gives us tremendous um, confidence when we try to cross hurdles and difficult situations. Hearty welcome to each one of you. We are also blessed by the presence of a lot of alumni members. Alumni, certainly a pride. It is certainly a hope coming to each one of you. We know, we know that you are very excited and thank you for coming and also we welcome each one of you to this program. And Regarding the staff of Providence Women's College, both teaching and non-teaching, this is in fact the end of, I can say, the end of the laborious work for years and years. And this evening is yours to sit back, enjoy and relax. And also we have, this evening wouldn't have been possible without the presence of without the presence and also active participation of our lovely students. Dear students, this show is yours. Now about the program, we have named our program Agni, the story of igniting benches. This is in fact a chapter from the history of Kerala way back in 1910 where a Dalit girl, Panchami, was denied education to a school in Thiruvananthapuram. After acrimonious argument, the bench that she, she sat was burnt. But in striking contrast to that, in our college, our founder, Mother Veronica, in fact welcomed uh, students from marginalized and um, backward communities and also ignited the passion in them. Hence the name Agni, the role, uh, Agni, the story of the igniting benches. Now, along with our theme that we have presented here, we are also trying to portray before you through dance, Raksha, uh, that is our disaster management program, and also Lakshya, which is, uh, when, which is a case, which is another best practice of ours, where our students chase the sustainable development goals of the UN. So we have, in fact, um, set the tune to songs like Manavyala Kin Charadade, age-old, 200-year-old songs, where we can see how the poet himself says how he's actually fed up of uh, the material life and he's, search, and he's in search of spiritual glory. Our students, in fact, try to de-stress themselves by participating in Raksha. You, you can see this fully lit up auditorium way back in 2018 and 19 was in fact literally a flood relief camp which accommodated hundreds and hundreds of flood affected victims from the neighborhood which was ably led by our uh, principal, Dr. Sister Jasina Joseph. 
We also have last year the sustainable development goals, which is represented beautifully, and the entire dance is choreographed by our students. At the end, we have our alumni coming in. This is, in fact, another um, historic moment, I can say, 72 women representing 72 years. So this is once in a lifetime, happens only once in a lifetime, and we have our alumni coming up on the stage. So this is, in fact, an attempt to trace, celebrate different shades of women too. So in the short time allotted to us, 45 minutes allotted to us, I can say that we have tried to include everything possible, from musical to theatrical, from conventional to contemporary, from traditional to modern, from the rustic kalari to the serene yoga, and also from Muthuswami Dikshitar to Michael Jackson, all under one banner, Agni. So having got the privilege to organize this program actually rejuvenated and refreshed me a lot, I should say that. Because I came to know about Indian culture more and more when I started organizing these programs. So actually, um, it reminded me of the Sanskrit sloka that is Janani Janma Bhumi Swarkatabi Ghariyasi. My country is so rich in heritage and culture, so where, should I, where, should I, where else should I look for happiness and entertainment? So once again, hearty welcome to all of you to this program. So um, respected members of the NAC Pure team, all of us are ex um, excited uh, to have your presence here. And we can actually not think of a better team. So we are certainly blessed to have such a beautiful team like this. And welcome to the citadel of inclusive learning and quality, and, uh, quality education. Welcome to Providence. Welcome to Agni, the story of igniting benches. Jai Hind.
Agni, the revolution of igniting benches. The history of Kerala chronicles in blazing letters the many social reform movements that challenged the rigid hierarchies that divided people on the basis of class, caste and creed. Pulling down the walls of discrimination and inequality, pioneers like Sri Narayana Guru and Chattambi Swamigal opened doorways towards an egalitarian society, paving the way for modernity in Kerala. Let us recall on this occasion the story of a young girl named Panchami and her dream of education. The year was 1910. At a time when shutters were downed on this little girl, only because of her Dalit identity, the fiery reformer Ayankali took the bold initiative to admit her in a school. The event was unfortunately marred all too soon with the eruption of violent clashes that culminated in the burning of the humble bench that had seated Panchami. incident is indelible in the law of Kerala since it triggered the first organized worker strike for equality and the evolution of Panchami as an icon of Kerala Renaissance. Around the same time, in another part of Kerala, a quiet revolution was being shaped with the arrival of Mother Veronica in the Malabar region and the establishment of of the Apostolic Carmel institutions that welcomed young ones from every fold. Giving special consideration to the disempowered from the marginalized communities, Mother Veronica's congregation helped the phoenix rise from the ashes of burnt benches and ignited the benches that benevolently spread the effulgent glow of knowledge to all. The flame kindled then guides the journey of Providence Women's College, educating women and thereby uplifting families and shaping the history of an entire region. Let us salute the inclusive vision of this brave revolutionary who ignited the Agni that forged a new future for the land. Over the last five years, the state of Kerala has been battling several odds ranging from natural disasters like floods and landslides to deadly diseases like Nipah and the pandemic. When each calamity struck, however, the state also bore witness to the resilience of the people who rode the rough waves with resolution and hope. The youth of Providence Women's College responded to each of these adversities with indomitable spirit and engaged in redemptive measures, rebuilding the flood-hit homes, organizing relief camps and treatment centers in the campus and resetting the adopted villages on their wheels. Let us hail that invincible spirit with a Kathakali recital set to the tune of an immortal Thyagaraja Kriti.
calamities of recent times have impressed upon us more than ever before the need for the peaceful and harmonious coexistence of the human and natural worlds the hardships have further opened our eyes to the wisdom embedded in traditional ways of living it is indeed heartening to watch the youth of today embracing ancient practices like yoga and kalari to reclaim the lost equilibrium and composure attaining the balance between mind and matter body and soul nature and culture appa nambare kumbala
present an invigorating dance highlighting our institutional distinctiveness providing a workforce of enlightened women to the world let us unleash the fire within to emblaze the world with a glow of resplendent empowerment with practices like lakshya the pursuit of sustainable development goals and raksha disaster management providence women's college has been molding generations of students to contribute their might towards the creation of a democratic tolerant and equal world over the last 72 years young minds have been trained to become Habingers of change minstrels who can heal the world whatever be the nature of the wound let us felicitate this vision and mission in the finale to this cultural pageant presenting the ambassadors of this institution women representing the 72 batches who have walked out of these portals in different directions but united under the banner of the college motto in thy light we see light igniting the world with a message of inclusivity empathy and harmony this is the unbroken saga of 
ugly.
May I request uh, one of the peer team members, uh, if you could just come up and speak a few words on the uh, mesmerizing performance uh, by our students, please. Sure. Please, Good evening, everyone, and uh, good evening, Calicut, and uh, Namaste, and uh, my wishes to good evening, good evening wishes to all the sisters and fathers of this institutions. Namaste. On behalf of uh, my peer team, uh, Professor Varmaji told me to speak. It's a wonderful performance, no doubt about it. It's really, uh, they made our day. We were so tired going around, that too in the rain. Sir might be feeling really relaxed and we are all relaxed. But no words for their performance. It's excellent, wonderful performance. And uh, I am from Karnataka. Um, what I know about Kerala and the culture, I released it today. That's it. Thank you so much. And uh, so all pretty girls, thank you so much for your wonderful evening you made us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kamalakshi ma'am, for your sweet words. It really means a lot to us. Thank you. I invite RJ Muskan of 2nd PG English to propose the vote of thanks. We have witnessed the greatest and the most beautiful event of this season. The cultural fete, Agni, the story of igniting benches. The cultural spectacle inculcating traditional culture of Kerala woven aesthetically. Good evening to one and all. On this special occasion, I feel honored and privileged to have this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks. Today, on behalf of all the students, I am grateful for this platform that was provided to us to showcase a variety of our talents. The gatekeepers of academic excellence, the custodians of quality education in India, the NAC peer team members, Dr. Aram Mishra, Dr. Kamlakshi D. Tadasit, Dr. Meenakshi Vaikole, I would like to extend our ingenuous gratitude to the honorable delegates who graced us with their presence here today. Words cannot adequately explain how grateful we are for the continuous support and guidance that was given to us by a manager, Sister Maria Jacina, and the management of Providence Women's College, Calicut. I extend my gratitude to all the fathers and sisters of the congregation representing the college management. I would like to thank the pivot, the most dynamic, generous, the most eminent personality, our greatest inspiration, our dearest principal, Dr. Sister Jacina Joseph, for her selfless service. <laughs> Cantles obliterate darkness. Just like that, our teaching and not teaching staff have always been a guiding light through all our endeavors. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to you all. Their very presence here demonstrates this strong bond with their alma mater. I'm indebted to our alumni who have been a great support to our college at all times. 
A group of people who can never be thanked enough are our former staff of our college who have helped us and stood right with us throughout the growth of this prestigious institution. I would like to extend a hearty thanks to all the former staff, especially those who are with us today for this great event. I would also like to thank all the parents who always motivated and encouraged their children to be a part of all the activities and for giving immense support to them. I also thank the members of PTA for their immense guidance and support. There was a team who worked tirelessly and sincerely from the start to the finish of this wonderful event. A group of our teachers who played a vital role to stage this cultural event. It is really hard to find difficult words to express my gratitude to the NAC Cultural Committee who have put in a lot of effort in bringing up the minutest of talents. I would like to thank the College Interim Union for their unwavering support throughout the program. Next, I would like to thank the essence of our institution, the students of Providence Women's College for their contribution and support in all realms. I would like to appreciate the efforts of our students who were a part of today's cultural events and with paramount dedication work day and night to captivate our senses and exhibit such a beautiful performance. Finally, I would like to thank the technical support and all the other hands that worked tirelessly behind the curtains for this great event. Thank you. You are a fire that refuses to be put out. You are a flame that lights up the whole world. That was Agni, a cultural pageant that included a humble effort by our students that showcased the flourishing cultural diversity of Kerala. Can we have a loud round of applause, please? Thank you. Providence can provide, Providence did provide, and Providence will provide. Something that a college upholds for a lifetime. We come to a close of today's evening with the National Anthem. I request everyone to rise up for the same. Janakarna mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharata bhagya vidata Punjab sindh gujarat marata Dravid utkala banga Vindya himachala yamuna ganga Uchala jalathi taranga Tava shubhana me jage शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे 